What is the first secretion encountered when food is ingested? Saliva. What can you say about the tonicity of saliva? Hypotonic. Tell me about the composition and functions of the saliva. Saliva keeps mouth moist and facilitates swallowing. Water in saliva solubilizes the dry food, serves as a solvent for the molecules that stimulate taste buds and aid in speech by facilitating movements of lips and tongue. Mucus lubricates and binds masticated food particles and forms a slippery food bolus. Immunoglobulin A and isoenzyme protect the oral cavity from bacteria. Saliva is important for oral hygiene which keep mouth and teeth clean. Potassium and bicarbonate ions are present in saliva. They maintain oral pH at about 7 and neutralize the gastric acids. Amylase in saliva initiate the digestion of starch. Other than immunoglobulins and lysozyme, how saliva contribute to protect the oral cavity from bacteria? Flow of saliva wash away pathogenic bacteria and food particles. What happened in serostomia? In this condition, there is a deficient of salivation. It causes high incidence of dental caries. What is the major determinant of salivary composition? The flow rate. What happens to the pH of saliva with flow rate? Saliva has a basic pH when there is a rapid flow and acidic pH when there is a slow flow. What happens to salivary composition in Addison's disease? Usually, aldosterone reabsorbs sodium from saliva. As aldosterone secretion is low in this condition, sodium concentration in saliva get increased. What are the triggers for secretion of saliva? Reflexes that are stimulated by physical act of chewing, thinking, seeing, smelling the food. What decreases the secretion of saliva? Hydration, sleep, fear. How salivation is regulated? Salivary secretion is almost entirely controlled by neural influences. Parasympathetic nervous system plays the most important role. So there is no hormonal regulation? Yes. Okay then, can you explain the mechanism of regulation? Chewing, tasting, smell, conditional reflexes and nausea stimulate salivatory nucleus in medulla and fibers of it pass through facial nerve and glossopharyngeal nerve to salivary glands it increases the salivary secretion by contracting the myoepithelial cells and dilating the vessels around the gland what happens when food comes to the pharynx it stimulates mechanoreceptors around the opening of the pharynx and afferent fibers pass in trigeminal glossopharyngeal and vagus nerves to the nucleus of tractus solitarius from there, the efferent fibers come from trigeminal, facial and hypoglossal nerves to pharyngeal musculature. It initiates series of automatic pharyngeal muscle contractions which pushes the foot bolus into esophagus. As a part of this reflex response, respiration is inhibited at mid-inspiration and glottis is closed. Why it is possible for a person to swallow something while standing on his head? Because ingested food is transported down the esophagus by peristalsis, which is not dependent on gravity. What is receptive relaxation? Relaxation of fundus and upper part of the body of stomach to accommodate food, which triggered by movements of pharynx and esophagus, is a vaguely mediated reflex. There is no reflux of gastric contents between meals because of the tonic activity of lesser esophageal sphincter. What happens in gastroesophageal reflux disease? There is an incompetence of lesser esophageal sphincter allowing reflux of gastric contents into esophagus, resulting heartburns, esophagitis, and ulcerations of esophagus. What is the condition occurs when the resting tone of the lesser esophageal sphincter is increased? Calacia. What do you know about it? In this condition, food accumulates in esophagus and esophagus become massively dilated. 
it is called mega esophagus food particles may enter respiratory tract resulting aspiratory pneumonia